Hi everyone, welcome to another fountain pen review. Today I'm going to review the Pilot Metropolitan fountain pen. I have a few requests to review this fountain pen because this is a very affordable fountain pen. I bought this on Amazon for less than US $15. So this is the pen itself. I bought the one with a medium nib and gold colored body. There are three different colors, there's gold, silver and black. So other than the pen, it comes with one ink cartridge. This is a nice box but it feels a bit cheap. Let me put this away. The pen has a matte surface finishing. It's quite nice to hold. It's relatively lightweight but not too light. This is a metallic body. So this is the cap. The clip is rather small. On one side of the clip it says Japan and on the other side here it says Pilot. The top of the cap is rounded off. The general shape of this pen is a torpedo shape. Let's take a look at the nib. I bought a medium nib for this pen. So the design on the nib is quite simple. And that's the fit section behind. Let's remove the body to see what's inside. Oh, it actually comes with an ink converter inside. So this is great. I do not have to spend extra money to buy another ink converter. This is the squeeze type ink converter. By the way, Pilot pens, they are good in a way that you can remove the nibs rather easily. So you just have to twist it a bit and just pull it out. So it's very easy to remove the nib if you want to replace them or if you want to clean your fountain pen. This is the feet section up close. So to put the nib back, you just have to make sure that it is flush against this horizontal line here. Once it's flush, the nib will not move and you can push it back into the grip section like this. By the way, if you do not like the squeeze type converter, you can get yourself a Pilot Con 50. It fits perfectly. This is the twist type converter and you can still put the body back on. There is another converter called the Pilot Con 70, it's a bit larger. You can still put it onto the grip section but you will not be able to fit the body back. So this is a bit too big for the body. Alright, let's fill this pen with some ink and try to draw something with it. As usual, I will be refilling my fountain pen with Nudella's Bulletproof Black Ink. The squeeze type converter is actually quite convenient when it comes to refilling. You can just press easily and it will get the ink up with a few tries. And it's also very easy to clean because when you compare this to the twist converter, um, usually when I clean the converter, I will have to twist a lot of times. But for this, you just have to press, keep on pressing until the ink gets flushed out. Downside of this ink converter is it's difficult to see how much ink is left inside. Let's try and write something first. The nib that I bought is a medium nib and it writes quite well. It has a nice tactile feeling on paper. It's quite smooth, although not as smooth compared to perhaps Sailor fountain pen, but it is a very good performer for a fountain pen at this price range. Let's try and draw something now with the pen. Ink flow is quite good. 
the lines are very dark. Sometimes when fountain pens, when the inflow is not that good, the lines actually come out a bit lighter. But not so in this case. I think this is pretty nice for drawing. I'm able to glide around with the pen quite effortlessly. Let me try and do some cross hatching. Ink flow is quite good. The lines are very consistent, very predictable. The nib is very stiff, so there is no line variation. I guess you can press down a bit harder to get a thicker line, but the variation is not that great. Let's try and draw with the other side. So on this side, you can get a slightly thinner line but it feels more scratchy and if you apply a very light touch you can get really thin lines and these are the no normal lines this is a good pen the ink flow is good it writes well the build quality is solid for less than US $15, I think this is worth it. Perhaps it's even better compared to the Lamy Safari because it's even cheaper than the Lamy Safari. And the added bonus is it includes an ink converter so you don't have to spend extra money to buy yourself another ink converter. So that's all for my review today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below if there are any updates to this review. I will put that in my text review. The link will be in the video description below. And if you want to watch other fountain pen review videos that I have made, check out the video description as well. The link is there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.